inability to manage time is just inability to manage ourselves. People get into business because they want to have freedom. The irony of that is that freedom comes from discipline. And so a lot of people still remain in this like reactive state, but because of that, the business suffers from results. So in order to manage your time, you actually have to manage yourself, which comes from discipline. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about entrepreneurship. People want the lifestyle, people want the money, people want the freedom, but guess what you need? There's a common denominator to experiencing all that in terms of growing your business. It is discipline. Proverbs 29 verse 17, discipline your son and he will give you rest. He will give you delight to your heart. What happens if you don't discipline your son? If you don't discipline your children, they're going to give you grief of your heart, not delight. Say, well, by the way, what is your baby if you don't have children? What is your baby for most people? It's their business. It's their investments. If you don't discipline your business, you don't discipline your investments, you'll either have delight or you're going to have grief. Let's take a look at the other video. Skills are the only thing that we'll always appreciate in time and work in compound compound in concert. So when they work together, if you know how to do math, then you can learn how to do accounting. If you learn how to do accounting, you can learn how to do tax work. If you learn how to do tax work, you can figure out how to insurance works. If you're insurance works, then you all of a sudden you're a CFO and you can prepare companies for sale. Like the skills stack on top of each other. That specialized skills are valuable independent of the currency or the economic climate. And so if you are good, you will always have a place to provide value because people want good stuff. Prices may vary, currencies may vary, but people will want the things you have if you are good. That's true. I mean, the, the staff I hire, if they're not good at social media, if they're not good at production, they're not good at uh, copyright, they're not good at some of the things we're talking about, they're not good at cop uh, captions and, and good at uh, chopping editing video to get my story out there right, they're, they're done. So here's another thing too as well. A lot of people, they do acquire skill, but unless they have desire to get to the next level, they're going to stay at that current level. How many people have you seen, you know, they're making 70, 80,000 or 30,000 dollars a year. They're good at one thing, some one good skill set, but they don't add on to it. So if you want to get ahead, if you want to be part of the seven figure squad, guess what you have to do? This is great advice because you just can't do one thing and just stay there because how you do one thing is how you do everything. If you constantly are growing and compounding in different areas of life, faith, finance, fitness, sales, sales leadership, if you're constantly compounding and discipline in those areas, you will build because you won't be satisfied. You're wanting to know more. Your business starts to grow. The people are saying, listen, I want to get paid more, but guess what you got to do as an entrepreneur? You got to increase the revenue of the company so therefore you can pay your people more. So you got a job out there, go out and do some business development, create some new relationships, shake some hands, close some contracts, so therefore you can grow the bandwidth and the revenue of the company. EBITDA is a lot higher. Guess what? You can pay more people. You can recruit more staff. You can hire C-level players to become B-level players. B-level players to become A-level players <laughs> if it's in a disposition to grow. Or outright just hire an A-level player. So these are areas here that you can grow in your business because we are at, I don't care where people are at. All I care about is where people are headed. That to me determines whether or not someone's gonna be living in business, thriving in business, or just surviving. Yeah.